June 13th, Mercury returns to their domicile of Gemini. And this is part of a bigger, broader Mercury retrograde story, which began in May, um, May 10th to be exact, where Mercury stationed retrograde in Gemini. So Mercury's initial jaunt in the sign of Gemini brought inspiration, curiosity. It sort of scattered our focus a little bit in order to keep us pliable and excited and yeah, stimulated. That's the whole goal of Mercury and Gemini. And if you want more information on the specifics of that placement, check out my other video released around that time. But to bring it all into context, Mercury retrograded back into Taurus to get grounded, to focus on the important matters, to do one thing at a time. Mercury began its retrograde in Gemini, which brought all kinds of new ideas. And yeah, it could be a little chaotic, <laughs> Mercury and Gemini. I know for me personally, it showed me so many th things that I wanted to work on, so many projects. I revamped my Patreon. As you can see, I rearranged this room kind of out of necessity for this air conditioner I had to put in. But gosh, it led to so many other projects in my house that I didn't foresee. And so Mercury's return to Taurus helped us do one thing at a time prioritize, do the important things first, um, you know, because Mercury and Gemini can scatter our focus and it can make us feel anxious and overwhelmed by the myriad of things in front of us, all the different piles we've created. If you could only see my bed right now, the guest bed, it's covered in baby clothes, <laughs> um, giving them away sadly. But anyways, um, so now that we got all that figured out in Taurus, we took care of the necessary tasks. Now Mercury returns to Gemini refreshed and with sort of a clearer slate. And it's time to get curious again. It's time to get excited again. This is a great time to keep an open mind. Mercury in Gemini is whimsical. It's witty. It's, you know, a wordsmith placement. We have more access to this. We have more access to that quicksilver um, inventiveness that Mercury is, is able to easily dispel from its home sign. So this is a great time to learn something. This is a great time to... Um, start four books and maybe finish one of them. I mean, there's no, there's no pressure to commit, you know, Mercury in Gemini wants us to keep an open mind, to consider multiple perspectives and points of view and to not get too attached, you know, not get too attached, remain curious. It's um, kind of a mischievous placement that invites us to be playful and to ask questions. So now that you got the important things figured out, go forth and be curious. And that was your Mercury in Gemini move and direct astrology shot of the day. Bye. So much for tuning in with me today. If you're seeking more support in your astrological journey, be sure to check out my latest offering Moonrise. It's a monthly astrological meetup centered around chart interpretation and synthesis. It's a place where you get to apply some of those techniques that you learned in class or in books and share this space. It's a conversational, it's casual. It's a place where you get to connect with other astrologers, share the language of astrology, learn from myself and others. And for more information about that, you can check out details on my website. Talk to you soon. Bye.